the million dollar winner of Survivor, Yu Kwan. Hi, Yu. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Hi, Yu. Kwan. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yu Kwan. Wow. Yu Kwan. Absolute winner. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Nice to have you here. You're probably the most qualified winner they've ever had no. on Survivor. No, really. You were uh, born here in Queens, uh, Stanford University, Yale Law School, mm -hmm. Marine Officer Training, mm -hmm. and uh, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but, but what did you do for a living? <laughs> I, I used to be a lawyer for about four years. Uh -huh. And then I went into uh, management consulting. Right. And then I worked at Google for a little bit. And then one I of the Google guys, huh? That's I good. One of the Google so guys, how did you know. hear about this Survivor? Why, why did you think well, of it? I've been a fan of the show uh, from, I think, the season number one. Mm -hmm. And I was interested in the show because I've always kind of grew up thinking that there weren't enough minorities mm -hmm. on mainstream TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as a kid, I didn't see a lot of people who looked like myself. So growing up, there weren't a lot of you know people that I wanted to emulate who uh -huh. I could really identify with. Mm -hmm. right. And this opportunity just kind of fell in my lap. And I thought, you know, what a great opportunity. Sure, you're going to take a try for it. Well, this yeah. was the year that they had all that controversy about an ethnic groups. Yeah. They were, yes, the contestants will be broke down right. Right. Mm -hmm. into groups. Right. What'd what did you think you of think? that? <laughs> that was a terrible idea. <laughs> I was, you know, they didn't tell us until the night before the game began. No kidding. And I, I thought it was kind of weird because I was looking around there, exactly five Asian Americans, exactly five African Americans. Right. I was like, this is a weird kind of <laughs> thing. I was like, there's no way CBS would allow some sort of uh, war the race. But it always starts thing. out with teams and then it winds up an individual being it the does, winner. It does. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so. Did you get along with everybody? I did, I did. I mean, I think everyone within the game this season was actually did a nice it, did person. Did it spur any competitiveness, Yul, on the part of, uh, of the contestants because they were in teams? Did that yeah, mean anything yeah, to anybody? Yeah. I, I think, I mean, I think all of us felt sort of a responsibility to try to represent our communities mm -hmm. in, right. in a positive okay. way. Mm -hmm. And I think, so there was a, at least for me, there was a heightened sense of pressure because I wanted to do well, I wanted to represent well, and I wanted to do it in a very positive way. Sure, you know? sure. Well, you did. I mean, that's the thing. Everybody says that you played, like, the cleanest game in the history of the game, that you were a great strategist, strategist. but, it, you, but yeah. you were clean. There was not, I, I no dirty business. Be. I mean, it's, it's hard to play Survivor without m misleading people and being manipulative. But mm -hmm. So you weren't manipulative at all? I was. Come on, I was. a little bit. Yeah. I, was, I, was. I mean, everyone had to I do it. I guess you had to be that way, You right? had to be that way. Yeah. Were you thrilled that you won? Yeah. <laughs> were, you, were, were you surprised you won? I was. I, I honestly did not think I was going to do well on the show. I thought I was going to be the first person voted off. Because you're a physical, maybe a physical yeah, threat? Yeah, usually once you merge, then they try to pick off the physical threats. Mm -hmm. But I thought just, Because when I saw those abs, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he might not last long. And these are the abs she's talking about, yeah. the sexiest man alive <laughs> issue with Clooney on the cover. Yeah. Not bad there, Yule. Yeah. We'll have more of Yule when yeah. we come back. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow I'm live, tomorrow my children. I'm asking you for both of our sakes to become my ally again. It's a little bit weird for me because I feel like I'm kind of like the godfather or something, arranging a hit on somebody. I don't know if I'm entirely comfortable with it. Wow. Everybody is so excited. The show is so A lot of action exciting. there, yes. you Yes. A lot of action, you, but you're not the only one with a pair of abs. Oh, really? Yeah, well, let's, let's see, let, yeah. Let's see uh, yours. What, do we have one more time? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, easy, easy there, Yul. Yes. And, uh, yes. Wow, that's hot. Yeah. Wow. Thank that's you. Tough. That's telling yeah. you. I, I waxed for the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> so why did they call you the godfather? Well, they called me the Godfather because they thought I was in controlling the game. They mm. thought basically I was this puppet master who was telling everyone what to do. But I, I don't think it was true. I mean, honestly, within my alliance, um, the way I wanted to lead the tribe and the way I think really worked well was the fact that we listened to each other. We mm -hmm. worked with uh, each other, and it was a very collaborative, you know, consensus-driven decision-making mm -hmm. process. But I think for the other tribe, they saw me as kind of pulling the strings, so they mm -hmm. kept calling me the Godfather. Uh, that annoyed you. Um, it did annoy me because, you know, I didn't think it was right, but at some point I realized the more I tried to disavow it, the more they thought I was lying. Exactly. Right. So, well, screw sure. it. I'll embrace it and I'll to use it to my advantage. That's right. What was the worst day you had on the whole tour? The first day, I gotta say. The first day, the sure. first day. They had us uh, sitting in these blacked out speedboats. Uh -huh. We were all puking our guts out for oh. hours. Then they put us on a sailing boat and we were just puking our guts out for hours. Wow. And then Jeff pops out of nowhere and says, you have two minutes to grab as much, you know, supplies as you can right. and jump off the boat. And then I saw a chicken in the water. I jumped off the boat, grabbing the chicken. I hit the water. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> so, 
Yeah, that was a bad day. You saw a chicken in the water. Yeah, there's a chicken in the water. Is that a chicken of the sea? <laughs> So what did you win? What did you win? You, you want I, some money? I, I want some money. <laughs> a lot of money. I want a, a lot of money. Dollars. A million dollars. What are they yes, a lot million of money. Bucks. Good. A million dollars. Mm -hmm. what, what are you going to be doing for a living now? You know, I, I think I really want to use, I mean, I feel incredibly lucky to be in this position right now. Um, I think there are a lot of people out there who are probably more deserving than I am who could use money. So I really want to use the money to kind of help my community, to do socially constructive things, you know, work for nonprofits and causes that I feel passionate about. So well, that's no, nice. that's nice terrific. To hear that. yeah. Good for you. Well, the next, uh, next Survivor thing is going to be in Fiji. Yes. In February, Survivor Fiji. Why don't you go back and defend your crown? <laughs> that's a good idea. Yule, thank you very, thank very you. much. Thank you. We'll be right back.